Hello everybody, welcome to Super Trope. This is part 8 of Diablo, where... Oh yeah, my name's Kane, I probably should have said that. Uh, we're gonna be exploring level 8. Of the catacombs. Holy mother of god. Whoa, what is that blue dude? Okay, we're just jumping right into it here. This is slightly, slightly madness. Oh, Jesus. That kind of creeped me out. Oh, I was supposed to make a town run in between these episodes, wasn't I? <laughs> Whoops, I forgot. My bee. My bee dog. Oh well. You'll just have to suffer. Do we actually need it, half this shit? Like, that's all I unidentified. I don't need that. The scrolls, like... Alright, okay. I guess I'll hold on to him. I got a little bit of room. It'll be fine. Mm. Okay. That's fine. Just shoot me with a fireball right in the... Oh, Illusion Weaver. Hi. I think my chance to hit is going down. These guys are harder to hit. And don't... Why do you have to run? I love how everything in this game is the same run speed. So when you try to, like, chase something down, it's just like a... I don't know. It's... It's worthless. Get the hell out of here. Oh, those guys are creepy. I hate those enemies. I hate the ones that just sneak up on you like that. Fucking creeps me out, man. Anything over here? Nope. I'm gonna drink a rejuve potion, because I don't ever use mana, so it's basically just a health potion. Mudman. That's what that guy is. Usually don't see those type of dudes until later, so that's kind of crazy. I definitely need more decks. I need to level up soon. Is that gonna happen? Gotta happen soon. Yeah, we're getting there. I don't know. My chance to hit's not bad. It just feels bad. Maybe I'm just getting bad luck. These games do get harder, though. That's usually how video games work, right? They get harder? Yeah, it's usually a thing that happens. Ooh, a chest. I like how the randomness just sometimes just throws chests right in the middle of the hallway. Oh, hi. Right in the middle of the hallway. Jesus. Man, level 9. The next episode of this uh, series is going to be really hard to watch, probably. Because, like I said, level 9 gets pretty hard. And, uh, God, these goats. Come on. Ugh. <sighs> Okay, that shrine just randomly teleported me. Is it weird that this area kind of reminds me of, like, Pan's Labyrinth? Or rather, Pan's Labyrinth reminds me of this area. Just like the, the environment. I don't know why. That could be totally me being weird, but... Come on. One at a time. Come through the door. Wait your turn. Thank you. Next, please. Number ten. Thank you. Next. Please take it. Take a ticket, sir. Please. <laughs> oh, you snuck by. You little bastard. Nobody gets away from me. Come on. Jesus, those guys, I just cannot hit them for the life of me. Okay, I'm gonna level up now. Give me that dex. More percent to hit. Let's get some more life. Yeah, more life. I need to go to town and identify that amulet, because that's still an empty slot that I have. It's becoming more pressing as these enemies get harder. Oh, more mud, man. A whole frickin' room of them. Great. Well, we're just gonna sit here and chop these guys for a while. Oh, 
Jesus Christ. This is not great. Sorry, this is... I'm sure this is extremely entertaining to watch. Ooh, ring mail. Da 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 ba ba da ba da ba da ba da ba da ba da ba ba ba. So I got a uh, so I bought an iPhone seven like a week ago. Maybe more than that. I don't know. I bought an iPhone seven a while ago. I was a little bit skeptical. I've had Android for I don't know last like three years. I think I had one since like a S Galaxy S four. I think. Well, I did have an HTC for a while too, but. Anyway, I, I got an iPhone because I had an S6 Edge, and it was like constantly dying, like, it was just, I, I literally had to charge it three times a day. I'd have to charge it at night, I would have to charge it like halfway through the day at work, and I'd have to, like, by the end of the day, it would be dead again. So, it pretty much had no functionality, I couldn't hardly even use it, it would die in four or five hours. And I had gone through all the, you know, tips and all the bullshit to... Extend your life and make sure this is off and make sure the battery, you know, the brightness was like on nothing. It was just horrible. Uh, I don't know what that shrine did. Anyway, so I got an iPhone 7 and I really like it. The battery life is amazing. Uh, it's really fast. I don't, like the, the home button is this weird, not actually a button. Yeah, it's a little weird. You just, it like virtualizes a button, so you push like where the home button is, it has like a little ring around it with like a fingerprint scanner on it, and it just simulates a button, so it's like the phone vibrates. So weird. I'm dating this video by talking about that phone. Oh well. Anything to get us through these areas, this is not a great, very interesting level. Well. Oh, more goat men. Raymon. Like, I hate these, just, that's one of the reasons I don't, this is my least favorite, uh, area in the game. Like, the catacombs. That we've been on since episode 5. Just because, it's basically just these huge rooms like this, with just tons of enemies. And it just gets a little bit old. Just lots of goat shrines, and, you know, just... I don't know. Music isn't amazing. I mean, it's fine. I mean, I, I, okay. It's pretty good. It's pretty great. But compared to the uh, the next area's music, which is my favorite, and the beginning area, yeah, it's not as good, I don't think. Really hyping up level 9, episode 9, aren't I? Good. Gets you to come back. See if we can get one of these videos to get 10 views. That's my goal, 10. <laughs> really, really aim for the sky. <laughs> 10. <laughs> Well, hopefully the people watching this video find this a cool video and informative, because there isn't a lot of video on this game. Especially a legit, just normal playthrough. It doesn't, you don't see it very often, so that's why I wanted to do it. And it's been a couple years since I've played through this game. By a couple, I mean like five, probably. Oh, more uh, illusion weavers, my favorite. God, I really hate those things. Also, I don't know if I've done this for you guys yet, but you can hit Z and zoom in. Isn't that funny? I don't really know what the point of it is. I guess it's just to maybe see your character, but you can like see his little face right here and tickle his little nose. It's just weird, like you can't actually play like this. I feel like it's just to make just so you can see your character model, to make it be like, yeah, this is my dude, and I'm gonna play. You know, like, it's like having a character viewer. That's probably, that's my guess for why it's in there. Okay, how are we doing on space here? We got quite a bit over there still. There's level nine, get hyped. It's a bookcase. Of course, this level's gonna be really long. The catacomb levels actually have been pretty short, though, to be honest. I feel like the labyrinth levels are longer. I don't know, it's, maybe it's just my, oh my god, more mud men. 
But I, yeah, I feel like the labyrinth levels are longer, and that could be totally just me making that up. Oh, there's a quarter staff. Those actually have some pretty good stats on them sometimes. We're getting into the higher levels of this game, so the items should be starting to really be good. That's what I'm hoping, at least. That's what I just keep telling myself. I've had the same gear since level like five. That's why we're starting to show our age. Level five, six, and seven were a cakewalk, and now we're getting into eight, and it's getting a little ugly. So we might spend some time in town next time I go there and try. Come on, just fucking die, for God's sakes. Uh, we might spend some time in town and like see Griswold and talk to Pepin and yeah, just kind of mix it up a little bit. Because uh, there's also a character that's very famous from the other games more than in this one, oddly. Uh, his name is Wirt. We have not even talked to him yet in this uh, playthrough, so we're going to go do that. Next town run. We'll introduce you to the town's folk, which I probably should have done in like episode one, but whatever. I wanted to get into the gameplay. I wanted to get you hooked. Book of Lightning. Not going to ever learn that, probably. Am I? Requires 20 magic. Oh, I totally can learn it. Okay, learn the spell and put the thing back on. Isn't that funny? Isn't that funny? Grab the ring mail. Okay, save for the love of God. Although sometimes, because this is actually, so Diablo 1 is really strange because it actually reads from the disc like a lot of the time, like in between levels and stuff like that. And when you're like, I don't know, if there's a sound that hasn't played in a long time, it actually keeps a lot of the assets on the disc and reads from it directly, which is a weird thing. It's not just like a, uh, you know, it's not just a DRM to have the disc in the drive. So <laughs> I think that's what happened is I clicked the, the sword icon and it hadn't loaded that sound effect in a while. So when I clicked the di like the sword, you could hear the CD drive go. Like spin up and start reading. That's so weird. Oh, there's an elite. Baron Sludge. Yeah, drop something nice. Just keep missing me like that. Yep. Keep missing. And let me kill you. Why? The fuck? Were they just fighting each other? Are they fighting each other? They're swinging shit down there. I got a pawn you dropped a stuff. book of healing? Really? Thank you. That feels really good that you dropped a book of healing, for God's sakes. But they keep, like, walking down here and then, like, moving their arms like they're attacking something. It's really weird. Huh, okay, well, whatever. Oh, a book. Yeah, give me the goats. I like the goats. They're much easier to kill. Illusion Weavers. I wonder how much hit points those things have. We gotta kill a bunch of them before we can figure that out. Oh, I should probably heal myself. I don't think I have any healing potions besides these rejuves. Nope. Yeah, town is inevitable. But man, I do not have a town of scroll, a scroll of town portal, which is the whole reason I haven't gone back yet. Because I don't want to walk. It's going to be a long walk. I have to walk to level 5 to get to town from here. So that's why I'm trying to make this last. Or unless I find a scroll. Which I haven't done yet. Oh, I need to go read that book. Let me scroll fireball. That's not what I want. I want a scroll of town portal, man. We're just going to make it last as long as we can. Half the problem with these mud men is that I can I feel like I can't ever hit them. I mean, they do have a lot of hit points as well, but... Okay, let's go read the book. To Diablo, Lord of oh god, there's a mud man. Sorry, had to cut it short. Sometimes that happens. We'll go back and read it. I just, I don't want to get attacked while I'm reading that book. There's more of them. Yep, here they come. Oh, you are reading a book? Let me come ruin your night. There's no reading allowed in the catacombs. Yeah, fuck you. Any more? Any more? I gotta pawn some of this stuff. Holy mother of God. This might be the end of us. I only have two healing potions.
Oh boy, I am clenching right now. Oh, God. Fully clenched. Come on, die already. A level up would be amazing. Come on, give me a level up. That would heal me. Nope, of course not. Scroll of Golem. God, I forgot that even was in this game. Yeah, you can, uh, you can get, <laughs> you can get a pet, a pet golem. That's crazy. All right, let's try to read this book now. It's very important for the story. Glory and approbation to Diablo, Lord of Terror and leader of the three. My lord spoke to me of his two brothers, Mephisto and Baal, who were banished to this world long ago. My lord wishes to bide his time and harness his awesome power so that he may free his captive brothers from their tombs beneath the sands of the east. Once my lord releases his brothers, the Sin War will once again know the fury of the three. <laughs> That guy has an awesome voice. I gotta pawn some of this stuff. Okay. Um, I'm just gonna check out this library. See if there's a tomb, a scroll of town portal. I gotta pawn Because there's a good chance stuff. that there isn't here. Um, but yeah, the uh, so this isn't this doesn't take place on like Earth. This game. Book of Lightning. Scroll of Healing. Uh, it doesn't take place on Earth. It takes place in a place called Sanctuary, which is just a, a fictional world. And Diablo is one of the demons. Book of Firewall, that's really nice. Um, God. Yeah, Diablo is one of the demons, and... Uh, I can't carry anymore. Sorry, I'm totally distracted. This is just... Uh, I'm kind of at a loss, because I'm kind of stuck. Because I need to go up to town... And frickin' okay, I'll just do it. Okay, um, I'll be right back. I'm gonna go to town. Okay, we're in town now. I keep hitting the map button. Wasn't that long of a walk. Maybe it took me, I don't know, three or four minutes, but still, it's shit you guys don't need to just sit there and watch it's not super entertaining okay so here's our all of our shit on the ground let's first let's identify all this garbage hello my friend Stay I just while. click through it all and then we'll uh, then we'll see what we got here okay so our amulet that we're gonna wear pretty much no matter what is amazing chance to hit plus 20 that's incredible that's exactly what we need. So now we got a 91% chance to hit. That's super good. Um, we got some garbage that we can sell. More garbage. And uh, that's... 10 to vitality. No. Arcane's Valor is still better. So we're going to sell all this. I'm going to keep the Book of Firewall because that's a nice spell to have later. I'm going to keep that. But we're going to sell everything else. Sell that and that and that and that. Okay. Let's repair what we have on. And let's see if there's anything new to buy that might be better than what we have. Because I have a lot of money now. We've got, like, I don't know. Let's pick up all our money and see. Ten thousand. Yeah, like twenty, thirty thousand gold. It's quite a bit. Oh, yeah, twenty-eight thousand. Okay, resist fire. That's not good. Might be later, though, honestly. Axe, not better than what we have. Ivory Armor of the Moon, still not better. That's pretty fucking good, though. Topaz Mail of the Vim. Resist all, 10%, 15 vitality. It's not much better than what we have, so I'm just going to keep what we have. So, he didn't have much. Well, let's pick up all this stuff that I can go sell to Adria. I've been hoarding all these books and stuff. Oh, Book of Town Portal. That was one of the things I wanted to learn. What do I need? that 20 magic if I drop my book okay we shouldn't have that problem anymore as long as I have enough magic to use town portal 35 25 I don't I don't have enough magic so we still need scrolls 
If you're wondering why I keep taking that sword off, it's because the sword takes five magic uh, away from my total stats. So I take it off, I learn the book, and I put it back on. There's my town portal scroll I wanted. Let's carry at least one. Constricting ring, we'll leave that because that's pretty good. Actually, let's carry that in our inventory because what this does is it totally maxes our resists. Look at that. Totally maxes them. Uh, which things start to do magic damage later in the game, which we are at that point later in the game. So that's why I'm kind of like, well, maybe we'll just carry it around. And if we start to fight shit that does tons of magic, we'll just put that on and that should help a lot. What ails you, my friend? Okay, let's go to good old... Oh, why, can't, why aren't I selling this stuff? 6 to 20. Oh, alright, I need 80 for that. God, that's so good, though. I'm almost there. I can almost use that axe. We'll keep that. The steel mall. Not great. We'll sell that. Cold Town Portal. I have one in my inventory, so that's fine. Staff of the Bear. I'll sell this to Adria. Uh, I don't have enough room right now. Although I will if I sell this thing. Whoa, what can I do for you? Uh, steal the mall. Not the constricting ring, because that thing is amazing. And the Staff of the Bear. Too much baggage. Take this. Okay. Time to go to Adria. Oh, you know the uh the music in the town in this game? I sense a soul in search of answers. It kind of has that similar vibe as like a uh, Resident Evil save rooms. You know what I mean? Like, it has the... It's like, it's kind of relaxing and like, melodic, but it's haunting. It makes you feel, you know, like, you know that you're safe, but there's danger around the corner, which I really like. Book of Lightning. We'll keep that. Scroll of Infravision. Scroll of Stone Curse. Scroll of... Phasing. Yep, sell that. Book of Healing. We'll keep it, what the hell. Scroll of Infrasion. Scroll Flash. Scroll of infer Infravision, or whatever word that is. Uh, gotta have a lot of those. Scroll Phasing. Okay, that's good. Oh, Scroll of Lightning. I don't need that. Scroll of Mana Shield. Don't need that. Firewall, we'll keep that. Okay, so uh, basically what I want to do now, besides just buy a whole fuckload of, fuck of healing potions, is I want to start putting points into magic. Uh, so each character class in this game has a max amount of um, points that you can put in. The warrior's mag maximum magic he can put in, I think is like 50. It's not very much. His strength is like absurd like maybe 150 or 250 something like that but his magic doesn't go very high so you can actually get it high enough that I can just you know utilize it so I might actually start putting some more points into magic but I don't know we're, we're at the point in the game where level ups are so rare now that I might not do that we might just keep chugging along on what we got okay we're gonna buy a lot of healing potions A lot of healing potions. That should be good. We don't need these mana potions really. I'm just gonna keep like one. Um, cause these I might use that scroll though. The scroll of firewall scrolls don't take any magic. Uh, it's just a one-time use thing. So like you use it one time and then you, you know, you you use that spell. So a book is what learns the spell permanently, but you probably figured that out already. Okay, we're gonna go one more place up here. We're gonna go to Wurt. I know I said I was gonna introduce you to all the characters, but we're not gonna do it yet. We're just gonna go talk to Wurt real quick and uh, see what he has to sell. So Wurt sells one item. God, where the hell is he? There he is. Yeah, Wurt sells one item, and he actually makes you he makes you pay to look at what he has. So you just save, and then you look what he has. A shitty mace, and then you just go, you know what, fuck you, and you load. 
<laughs> but sometimes he has really, really good items. Not today, though. Let's go finish level 8. We're almost, we're like so close to being done with it. And I think we're good. Let's drop all our gold because we don't need to carry it around. There's no reason to. We have our town portal. There's another town portal. Keep our firewall. Keep our magic. Drop the gold. Drop the gold. Drop the gold. Keep the ring in case shit gets real. Uh, also, the reason I'm not just putting this on is because it says constantly lose hit points, which makes me think that as you move or fight stuff that you slowly die, which sounds shitty. So I'm just going to only put it on when I'm fighting stuff that does a lot of magic damage or it's, or it's worth it. Who knows? I don't actually know how much it drains you. It could not drain you at all. Like, hardly any. But I don't know that, so we're just going to assume it drains you a lot and leave it off. I guess I could just put it on and see. 159. Where's the way down? Okay. I'm going to uh, walk all the way back down to level 8. We're going to finish. So, see you in level 8. Okay, we're back at level 8. Let's finish this bitch up, shall we say? What do you say? I think that's what I meant to actually come out of my mouth, but that didn't happen. It's been a long day. The funny thing, too, is that even though I just walked all the way back, which was a pain in the ass, um, I... I believe that there is a way up to town, like another shortcut at level 9. But we were like full on inventory. We didn't have it, like we were totally screwed. But I think that's the end of the level, actually. I don't think there's anything else here. No, there's not. Okay, well, let's go to level 9. And, uh... Prepare for the ultimate clench. Here we go, level nine. It's hot down here. Well, thank you guys for watching. This is Super Trope. My name is Kane, and I will see you guys next time.